Minnesota, <laughs> speaking of Minnesota and the Blues, ugh. Minnesota should turn to Cam Talbot to force game seven. Shot. Shot. Yeah. Um, Flurry's the guy. He has the experience. I mean, he's – I don't think he's the reason why they're they're down 3-2 necessarily. Um, you stick with your horse. I got to go shot too. Um, one guy's got three Stanley Cups. He won one. Uh, he's made it to the finals three different times. And just him personally, he's got playoff experience galore. Absolutely not. And the goals last night, I don't think any of them were in particularly his fault. Uh, the Tarasenko second one, he was screened. The Tarasenko yeah. first one, he was uncovered. Uh, the the O'Reilly goal was a rebound. No. And also, Cam Talbot is not going to Hall of Fame. Hate to break that news to everybody, <laughs> but no, it's it's definitely definitely not. Uh, so that's a quick one for us. We're gonna move right on to Washington's missed empty net may have saved Florida Stanley Cup hopes. I'll start this one for you, Anthony. I'm buying around on that one, and I understand now. There was an argument on TNT about that, where a lot of guys missed net, and all the guys were yelling at Rick Tocket. Rick Tocket said, "No, you shoot for the empty net." And the ensuing faceoff comes comes back with the with the goalie pulled. Garnet uh, Hathaway missed the empty net. Sam Ryan Hart ends up tying the game, and they win in overtime. But y- you go for the empty net to end the game. I have no problem with that. I would have tried banking it off the boards and trying to give it time, so that way maybe it slows down and it's not an icing. That's what you also try to do. And yes, players do practice that. So it's that's just what I think. No matter what, they missed the empty net icing and it kept Florida's Stanley Cup hopes alive. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go beer just because, you know, if let's say he hits that and they go up their 3 1. Um, I mean, I know the Rangers down 3 1. It's not a good spot to be in, but out of all teams that can come back from a 3 1. Um, I think it would be Florida because they have the firepower to do it. Um, but, yeah, I get what you're saying. You know, you kind of you missed the empty net and then, you know, face off in their own end, bam, tie game. Um, so it's easy to connect the dots there. But um, I just think that I wouldn't go as far as saying that it, you know, saved Florida's cup hopes because I think even if they lost that game, they still could have uh, ended up winning the series. But um, don't get me wrong. It definitely helped the Panthers case. That's for sure. Uh, I, I now I get what David's trying to say. It's like uh, whenever I put the shot icon yeah. up, yeah, it's right over yeah. your face. Yeah, I've apologized about that for weeks. I want to fix it, but on the other hand, it is kind of funny. Uh, however, it works better when there's three of us because then it's not in front of anybody's face. All right, going on to did you watch the Edmonton uh, LA game last night? Uh, I watched a portion of it, yes. Wow, I, I can't believe that game went to overtime. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it did. And then Mike Smith is actually keeping Edmonton in this series. I mean, I'll give him a little bit of credit, um, beer. But uh, I, I still think if they had a better goalie, um, that the Oilers could probably win this series somewhat easily. Um, I think Mike Smith... Um, they should have moved on for him last year. They brought back the same exact goaltending duo, um, which to me was a little ridiculous because it's not like they won the cup. You know, they, they fell short of their goal and you bring back the same goalies. Um, I, don't know, I, I don't, I don't get that one. Um, but you know, yeah, he's, he's for his age, you know, he still makes some good stops. He's, he's not horrendous, but um, I think again, if they had a better goalie, they'd go further. You know, I got to give him credit, too. I got to go beer. And he's he played really well last night. He's also <laughs> made that misplay in game one, which kind of led to a goal. It's just, yeah, I don't get why they're why they're so they were so high in this goalie tandem. Partially because Peter Shirelli put him in a bad spot. You know, yep. hey, I'm going to reassign Miko Koskinen for four years. Oh, OK, you're fired. <laughs> You know, you yeah. should have told us that before you you did that. Yeah. But um, 
I mean, they lost three two in overtime. Partially, the their offense got him back in the game. Dry sidle on the power play with minutes remaining to tie it, and then a minute and a half in, Adrian Kempe gets Juice. his second of the game. Yep. Just, just wow. And this is this is the reason why these playoffs this year have been absolutely fantastic. Every single series, series except for two. <laughs> Let's be honest. The the Colorado one was a runaway, and the Rangers Penguins have not lived up to their end of the bargain. Moving on to the other Metropolitan series, Boston Carolina will not have a road win. That the it's trending that way. The home team is winning both games, but I think it ends. I think Carolina ends the series in Boston. Um, I don't think Boston's going to force a game seven. I think Carolina is going to um, close it out. So I'll, I'll go shot. Okay. And then there's the angry face right behind. You're actually perfectly yeah. aligned with that. That is perfect. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go buying around. I'm going to go the other way. Uh, hmm. I think Boston wins game, uh, game six. And then uh, Carolina, they, whatever they drink before they get on the ice in Carolina, oh. it is just amazing. They, they dominate everything. Yep. They stifle the other teams. I did say originally uh, Boston and six, but they can't solve the goal. Speaking about not being able to solve a backup goaltender, uh, the, Boston just, they've been able to do it. So I haven't been able to do it, but they've been able to do it in Boston. So we'll go with that one. And, and by the way, all road, all home wins for every single team in that series. I, it's great that I put all these extra Chirons in, but then I end up <laughs> forgetting to bring them back up. And then, of course, the, really the game to talk about. And I still can't believe that we're, I'm talking about it like this. But the Toronto Maple Leafs playoff maturation has finally arrived. I see to you, Mr. LaRocca. Uh, beer, because, you know, there, there's, still, there's still time for the Maple Leafs to disappoint their fans. Um, they're up 3-2. They've blown series leads to Boston in prior years. Um, they, they've they've been kind of known for it, really, the last couple of years they're in the playoffs. Whether it's blowing a lead in a game or blowing a lead in a series, it's what they do. Um, and the Lightning are the back-to-back Stanley Cup champs. You can't count them out. You can't. They're, they're, they're going home now for, for game six. I got to believe that Tampa Bay, the experienced team they are, they're not going to get closed out in their home ice and that they're going to win and that – this is going to go to a game seven in Toronto and for all the marbles, in which case if the Maple Leafs lose, man, it's going to be, it's going to be the same old story, but even more so this year with, with just the pointing fingers and the blame. Um, so yeah, I get it. They've, they've looked good. They've taken it to Tampa Bay. Um, they've been the better team this series for, for sure. I give them that credit, but I'm not ready to kind of crown them and say all their playoff woes are over and they turned a corner because again, there's still time left, and they're playing the like again, like I just said, the back-to-back defending Stanley Cup champion. So that's why it's a beer for me and not round. Um, I still think there's there's potential for them to lose this. I want to buy round so bad and be on the and 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 buy this stock before it goes up because if, if they if things stay the way they were trending, they might be winning a lot more because if the if they face the Capitals in the next round. But it's a beer for me, too. Uh, I even have it highlighted to, to, to hit around. But no, it's just a beer for me, too. And the reason why I'm still going to stick with that one is just. Oh, it's so it's it, you're so tempted by it, but you've seen them fail so much yep. over the last 20 years and uh, watching Austin Matthews. I mean, uh, watching Austin Matthews uh, just just bury that goal. And I, mm-hmm. and I'm watching it last night. Uh, William Nylander d- fitting that goal. Uh, Vasilevsky over committing a little bit towards the post. Just wow. Everything looks like it's going their way, but I don't know. 